Yeah, go on. Yeah, we got him. He's a nice one. Oh, yes. I'll give this swim a rest for a bit. So now I'm going to uh, feed again. Try and gain the fish's confidence. Lift the rod on the bank for a minute. Needed refreshments, needed a break. So I'm purposely making this a good mash. So I don't want to overfeed the fish, I just want to get them going. We're just hoping to uh, draw the uh, fish out. Not that time. Holding it back in and out. I've got a tight line for the strike. Got a long way down the swim now. I don't know if you can see any of this. Quite a ways out. Obviously better than I can because I've got a zoom on. Very difficult to see it now. We're going to let it trundle on down anyway. See what happens. Hold it back. Yeah, got a fish. I think. No. Hook one then. Felt like I made contact there. Because I'm going to feed again. I've been got some chopped down and sweet corn. I'm going to look at that in from time to time. Only a little bit though. You can see you've got a little tub of it, there's plenty. I'm going to leave the bigger ch bigger chunks of meat for uh, for hook baits. And just a few handfuls. Just to sort of... If I want, I'll put a different hook bait on. There's a marble or something like that out there. A little big chub, which we know are there. As you see those. Lovely and stable where I am, I've got a nice foot in. Checking it. Yeah, checking it. Bit more of a crosswind here at the minute. Oh, what's that bite? Check it. Earlier I was getting a lot of bites and I managed to eventually hook that mullet and I think a lot of the bites I'm getting is mullet. Um, they're notorious to hit anyway, but at range You've got to be so tuned in and so sharp. <sighs> Same spot again. I wonder if it just rises up there. We'll take a little bit off the depth. Don't want to take too much because uh, I'll have to change the whole shotting pattern. I'll get tangles. Just take an inch off. Something like that. My any success I've had has been further down the swim now, which tells me that uh, the fish have dropped back to swim. I was hoping by feeding them up that. Uh... Yeah, got one. Got a fish. Feels a nice one too. There, I could see the float better. Doesn't feel huge, but. Hopefully it's a chub. We've got our net in position this time because I worked all that out now. Yeah, it feels nice, it's staying deep, whatever it is. So I just changed it up again. Okay. Lucky for me, it's coming over this side. So let's not rush it, it does feel a good fish. It's going for the far bank. 
on the near bank for me, but far back to where it started. I'm going to try and get some really good filming on this fish if we get it in. If we go swimming up towards me, you'll see me in a minute and it's going to spook. It's going to swim right at me. Yeah, I think it's a chub. Yeah, it's a nice little chub. Big fish, but it's a nice little chub again. So he's not ready yet. A couple of pounds or so. So we're doing quite well, aren't we? Work this out beautifully. I feel like I'm fishing a lot better now. Working it out. Yeah, it was a good bite. I was closer to it, so I managed to strike on it. Right. Okay, it's only a little one, but if I try and hand line it, that hook could come out easily. Bring him to me. Need the longer handle on the net because it's a long rod. There we go. Hopefully. You've got that. You can see he's got a bit of a sore on top of his head. Well, that is like something's had a little little dig in him. So take him out in the deep water. I just orientate the fella. So I'm fishing quite shallow. I'm only fishing about two and a half foot maybe something like that three foot max and that's produced a fish so i'll stick with that a minute um i don't know if i need that locking shot by the float uh, let us know viewers but i just feel from my fishing uh days previously uh mullet fishing it stops if you're striking a lot if I remember, it stops the float sliding down on the strike. I could be wrong there. Right, I've got to mend my line a bit now. Uh, hopefully you can see what's going on. Follow the float down, keep the rod tip high. As much line out of the water as possible. Here's one, we've got one. See got another one with some description. Looks a bit mullety that. It's fighting like a mullet. Same spot again. Exactly the same spot. I'm all recording. Staying deep this one. I want to get it over here. Come on. So I'm just leading it over to this side, taking it away from the show. So I'm not to spook the show of whatever it is I have on the end be it chub or mullet it's not I oh, know it's coming across no it's coming across it's not a big big fish again but alright now I've got it over this side a bit more I can start just letting it swim upstream Real strong fish again though, it's swimming up nicely in this current. I have to loosen that drag off a bit. Whatever it is, be it chub, be it mullet. Hopefully I can definitely get some better filming than again. Yeah, it wants to it wants to swim up. Coming straight at me again like the chub did. I just thought, yeah, it's another nice chub. A little bit bigger than the last one, I think. So there is a shoal of them here. Yeah, he's a nicer one, this one. Very strong in the current. I'll get back to the net again. So we're making all the commotion up here. It's a very nice job. This is not, he's not the five pounder I had earlier, but he's a beautiful one. Yeah, he's a bit bigger than the last one. Not massively bigger, but stay on your bugger. He wants to go on a run now. He's obviously seen me. You can see him using his tail and his weight. Big bronzy flank. He's a bit bigger, this one. Ah, oh, 
see what he's doing. Try and have a bit. Get his head up. And then go up above. And hopefully. I'm going to swing the bugger. Right in. No. I'm not having it yet. Come on, don't sling the hook. Be brave, Age. Be brave. Yeah, we got him. Here's a nice one. Bit of weight on that one. Oh, yes. That's a three pound, three and a half pound, four pound chub, I think. Is that another big one? Of course, I would have played him a bit softer if I'd known he was that big. Look at the weight on that. He's not the five pounder I had, but he's a bloody great chub all the same. I'd say he's pushing three and a half, four. is it as you can see I'm not used to handling the I'm all a mess actually because oh he's such a fit fish they're so solid I took right in the scissors he wasn't going anywhere so here we have a chub nestled in our arms I'd say that's a good three three and a quarter three and a half no you give me that, I'm not wearing him. Let's take him out to deeper water. So I've rested the swim and I've retired everything. Nice and neat, fresh bit of line, had a couple of fish now. Probably not needed, but... I felt like some refreshments. Uh, hadn't had a bite for a few casts, so I'm doing what I said I was going to do, which was I came back, fed a bit. I've come back again. I'm going to feed again now. Just a little. Rested it for a bit. So I believe there's more fish there. pop a bait in on the back of that Let's see if it works what I'm doing is um, in order to get a better line line management I've dropped down further but I'm also I'm getting the shadow off the bank so the float tips in dark water it's easier to spot it uh, whereas before where I was before it was difficult to see the float go down the line I don't know what these fish are fish for a lot or not. Um, they might be. They might not. A lot easier to feed here. Right, so we're going to come from this side now and just lay the float. I'm hoping my crust is still on there so that I'm closer in. Every time I tug the line, it drags the float off line. I may even have to cast it down that end of the swim if they move right down. So I can't afford this bow in the line. Come on. Alright, you can see this to check the float. Come on. Oh, yeah, got one. There, I've just checked the float. Just in time there. Feels like another nice fish. Little jabs, so probably a smaller one, but yeah, they've moved further down. That's what they've done. Let's just bring him across the flow. It's over this side, he'll be happier to chappy. Feels a nice one. He's fighting it a bit there. Still right over there, isn't he? 
Come on. Oh, that was a nice head shake. It could be a bit bigger than I think again. He certainly uh, give him a good account of himself. Oh. They have a lot of strength, these fish. Looks like another chevin. There we get him to come upstream and stay away from that side. Come on, with you. That's it, just keep swimming up. I'll keep them on a long line till I get to the net. Uh, try and guide him up river like he seems to be doing. Where I'm gonna net. Ooh. I almost let him think he's doing it himself. He's swimming up for me. Hopefully, you can see all of this. Floats just out there at the minute, so the fish is just not too far behind it. Oh, he wanted to run then. Now yeah, he's running in towards me. He's finding that easy. It's like walking the dog. When playing them in this current, yeah. You're not a big fish. It's another chub though of a couple of pounds. Another Oh, see he's off. He's got some power in this current. He's seen me now, so he's rather excited and he's thinking he's getting away from me now. He's actually coming closer to me. Doing what I want him to. So he's not another big fish, but it's a nice fish, isn't it? I'm enjoying catching these so much. Um, as I've said before, I uh, these are my first real chub. Had a couple on lures a few days ago, but to catch them on the float like this is just just loving it. I can't think of anything better. It's beautiful catching them on a lure. It's, you know, the catch one was it's fun dabby dozy. You know, we seem to have a little bit of a deeper area there. And we'll release them in deeper water like we've done with the others. Looks like my neck straps. Let's come on, Clint. It's okay there. Oh, yeah. Another two pound chub, that one. Two and a quarter. Two and a half, two. Let's call it two. All right. I've got chub in there. Let's see him. He's happy enough there. I wouldn't say he's happy, but he's safe enough. Let me switch hands a minute. Just going to try and get some nice underwater shots. 